This is very significant for us here because we've always had First Nations representation. We've been doing our program for eight years. And, you know, we're trying to build relationships with all people, all of our folks that come work with us. And the First Nations piece has always been one that we've kind of been wondering and wanting and wondering and wanting and looking for a way. And um, I'm very proud today that this has come through. And it's basically come through because of Kathy and the agency, the Open Area Transition Society, and your support. These things we just can't go do. We needed your cooperation. We needed your yes, you're okay. We can't just come and have an unveiling like this. We have to ask permission. And we thank you for the permission you've given us to share with you this unveiling. Um, we know relations in the past have been tough, but I know with my work, um, I know with my schooling, I've learned a lot. And I understand a lot more now. And so on behalf of the Thunderbird and our agency and those um, that, that are working with us, um, we want to say we recognize that this is your space, this is your land, and that we thank you for allowing us here to work with your people and, um, and give us, and we encourage you to come and stand beside us always. Um, so I think when we, when we see a gentleman or a lady come in, that's got First Nations culture representation and we can't offer. I don't know. I can't offer that piece, but you folks can. Kathy can, and Kathy's position came through this funding for Luma Housing. And then through that, we've been doing activities, and she'll talk a little bit more about that. But this program addressing homelessness, I know there's many that live here that are not First Nations, that they too want to show up and partake in the drumming, partake in the smudging, partake in learning. Of, and this, this, is, this is common. We all go around to different cultures and to different communities and we want to learn and maybe we find a way through there, a way of wellness. So in addressing homelessness, it's a tough road and we know we need to look at people um, in a holistic way and culture and where you come from and your representation needs to be present in our programs. And so I thank you again for allowing us to be with you, for you to be here with us. Uh, we cannot not do this without your presence. And in the future, this place and premise is always open for, for all, for all cultures. Um, this one, about 25% of our population, sometimes one third is Aboriginal. And so we will have, I was telling Kathy, you know, Kathy's position got renewed. And so we're very happy that Kathy will be with us for another year. But there was a time two weeks ago where we didn't know. And then a month ago and two months ago, we always knew. And Jason's position is here. He's through BC Housing. Jason works here as well. And Brian works here. Um, so and we have some volunteers, Michael and Ernie. And Anyone else? Yeah, for you folks, it makes a difference. It makes a difference, your presence. Um, but we were worried that Kathy would come, activities would partake, services would be given, Kathy would go, the funding would leave, and we'd have nothing other than memories. So I told Kathy, okay, we got to, we need something significant. Like, you know, we talked about a poll raising, we talked about different things, but we needed your cooperation. And um, so this is really significant that way. And we met Stanford. And so, Stanford, you want to, there you are. This is the gentleman that has done the carving. I'm going to let Ta Kathy talk a little bit, and then I'll do a little bio intro at Stanford. I'm going to talk a little bit about your program and what you do as an Aboriginal worker here with us. Welcome, everyone. My name is Kathy Abraham. Um, my mom was from um, Pine Falls, Manitoba, Sanguineuser um, soil. Um, my dad is Cree from Houses First Nations. And um, I've been living, I lived in the um, Stolo Territory for over 20 years. I'm privileged to work here and to meet all this wonderful people, all the wonderful people. Um, my position was really um, big when I started. I didn't know what 
I needed to do. So I, what I was able to do was to talk to all the residents and meet everybody, and I asked them what would they like. And a lot of them wanted cultural activities, they wanted outings, they wanted to do things. So in my program, we were able to do a series of workshops. We've done um, soap carving, we've done rattle making, drum making, bean catcher. Um, what else did we do? Probably a few others I can't remember right now, but we've also been to some outings. We've been to Boston Bar a couple times. We've done a powwow. We've done some traditional um, tours. And that was really wonderful because a lot of the people that don't know their culture, so they're all able to learn of the ways of, of their ancestors and through the tours. So that was really special. We went to um, a powwow at Stolo. We've um, done some walks, we've looked to walk, or we've done the addictions walk. So just a lot of awareness and a lot of um, information was shared with all the First Nations. I want to thank everybody for coming from the local band, because my position is to work with all the communities and to build relationships. And I'm really pleased that I've met a lot of people and you know everybody is able to come together and do this good work. So. This um, carving represents, you know, our um, tr our, our traditional um, welcome for the First Nations, and you know, to you know, signify the good work everybody does. So, thank you for coming. Sorry, you want to come up? So, I have a little bio here. I'm going to explain to you who this gentleman is. He's always kind. Always got that great smile. And um, we've only, you know, we're busy. I'm busy. So uh, the few times I have connected with you. We were we were with Sanford from kind of the beginning with the log and watching and seeing it come unfold. And uh, it was just an amazing experience. Very professional, very kind. Um, yeah, it's, I, 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 and that's what I feel like when I'm around First Nations culture. I get this feeling, I get this sense, it's like, there's a peace there, there's like there's a humbleness there. And I know this with working with youth as well, when I was working with uh, youth, they, they could talk to me, <coughs> they would share, so I get that. And I always sense when I was working with youth, they get that from the elders. They get that from the community that they come from. They learn how to share, how to talk, how to tell stories, and meaningful ones. So you were not the one who mentioned it. Um, so here, Sanford Williams has made it his life's work creating art that enhances the past um, of the First Nations folk of British Columbia. Born and raised on the west coast of Vancouver Island in the remote village of Uquat, Sanford Williams was inspired by his relatives, notably his uncle, the late chief Dominic Andrew. After surviving residential school, Williams graduated in 1985 when he attended the Gitimac School of Northwest Coast Indian School in Kassan in Old Hazleton, BC. Tough words there. Since completing the course in 1988, Sanford Williams has worked independently as a master carver every single day. Throughout the years, he has proudly participated in many events and has donated pieces to many organizations. Through his art, has, though his art has been found in dozens of galleries around British Columbia, Sanford Williams is a people's artist, and I see that. I knew that when I met you. This is a people's guy. And loves meeting the public to carve custom-made pieces for them. Please welcome Mr. Sanford Williams. Say a word. He's shy. He said he didn't want to share. Nobody wants to share. Yeah. But you may, and if that's okay, if not. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. Uh, it was a she, real honor to do this carving center with our uh, facility here. And, um, my first carving uh, I was wanted to donate was this one here originally. <coughs> Was, uh, I was going to do this one for the, the place here, but uh, Paul and them decided that uh, it would be right just to, to, to do the, the, the Thunderbird for the site here, um, only because, you know, that's what uh, the Browns were, you know, the Thunderbird. But I, I still want to donate this one here to the to the facility here. Uh, this one here is uh, called a wellness mask. It's 
It's about my healing journey about 25 years ago. So this year, is, you know, it talks about my healing journey. So I want to donate this one to the facility here in the near future. It's been carved out of Alder. So this year will be your guys this year in the future. Thank you very Okay, so not too many people have seen this beautiful work of art, and I'm telling you, this is a beautiful work of art. I'm so proud of you. You're just an amazing gentleman, an amazing carver. I don't know how we're going to do this, but there's apparently they say pull and a brush will fall in. And also, you know, for agency, I'm the owner is here, and Anwar Muhammad is here, the owner. Without the owner, we don't have a premise. We're not joking. There you are. Yeah, you need millions of dollars to build a place, but you know, the owner, Anwar, he gives us this premise to use. So we want to welcome Anwar and the agency. We have other partners here as well, like, um, I don't think Luma, did Luma show up? No, Luma hasn't shown. Envision, a financialist here, they've helped us at different times. So <coughs> welcome all of you. Um, I'm going to, and I'll get you to stand on this side. Um, am I pulling it? Are we pulling it? Kathy, why don't you come over? I'm scared off. You're I'm okay. Scared. Well, <laughs> well, why don't you and Sanford pull that side? I'll get hit okay. in the head. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just tug on one. Are you sure that's, that's, yeah, yeah, that's going to come down? Job. That's going to come down. That's only a, that's only holding it. There you oh. go. Oh. Oh. Do you want to tell us about it? There's a Thunderbird, I know that much. And there's a face in there. And that face that represents change, always changing. Yeah, it represents change. People going through change. So I, I kind of added that in there just to, you know, go with the fertility of you know, people that come through uh, in and out. Uh, it represents all the people that come in, in here. Yeah, absolutely. Very beautiful.